So you see, you need to be true to yourself. You need to be true to who you are. Be authentic. See, when your heart wants something, when you're drawn towards something, the best thing for you to do is to go after that to live out your dreams, to be true to who you are. Excuse me, sir, I don't mean to interrupt, but I don't think what you're saying is true. Who are you and why are you interrupting my TED talk? Um, sir, this is not your TED talk. This is my YouTube channel. Hey, what's up guys? It's Isaac and welcome back to the Daily Disciple channel where I help you follow Jesus daily. Okay, let's talk about it. You be you, be yourself. These questions tap into our identity as people. What is our identity? Well, we look back at the beginning of creation. God said, you are good. Our identity was good, right? But then we rebelled against God, turned away from him, went to our own ways. In turn, we're turning to this flesh that we're fighting against to this day. And our identity is no longer categorized by goodness, but actually evil. The Bible says we can't do anything good without God. In Romans, it talks about the fact that we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. It says our good works are like filthy rags to God. So if we're going out and we're proclaiming this message of be yourself, be true to you, what are we really saying? Are we really saying that they should be true to this sinful nature that they have, that this flesh that is actually rebelling against God, this flesh that says, well, I wanna be selfish because this is what I want, or I wanna have this because this is what makes me happy or should we be pointing people to something else because it's a really nice feel good fuzzy message to say oh be yourself be true to you but when we actually think about it who are we without god that's my question to you guys who who might disagree with me here who are we without god are we this you know great person who's just like you know doing great things and if we just be true to ourselves and we're going to be you know just wonderful to others and just be doing great things and all this kind of thing no without god we have no goodness within us but you see when god saves us our narrative changes our identity changes you, you know from before when our identity was just grounded in sin selfishness that sinful flesh that we talk about and if we're saying be true to that that's not right we shouldn't be saying that but our identity has changed our narrative has changed when god saved us lots of people talk about authenticity hey it's important important to be authentic, but what is biblical authenticity? Biblical authenticity is not just saying be true to yourself, be true to whatever you desire in your heart, whether that be selfish or greedy or whatever, self-centered, no. Biblical authenticity actually says to step into the new identity that God is forming within you. Step into that new creation. Step into who he is transforming you to be. That's why as Christians, I don't want us to buy into this, be yourself, be true to you, because it's so stagnant. It's so lifeless because we're just saying, look, however you are now, just be true to that. No movement. It's kind of this um, postmodern idea that whatever, you want to be is okay. No, there's a calling on our lives that God has put on our lives. He has called us to himself. And it's not this idea that we can just deny that, be who we want to be. No, we got to step into who God has created us to be and who God is transforming us to be. I want to make one clarification here. Sometimes when people say, be yourself, they're just kind of meaning, hey, don't really change yourself for other people. Don't change your personality just to fit in. Look, I'm on board with that. But when we start saying, oh, be true to who you are, just kind of look within yourself and try to figure out what you want. That's where I have a problem because the Bible says to do something very different. God calls us not to look inward at ourselves, but actually to look at him and his word and who he is transforming us to be by the power of his Holy Spirit. But when we start encouraging people to embrace the sinful sides of themselves, that sinful flesh, be like, you know, do what you want to do, whatever makes you feel good. I got a problem with that. And I think God does too. Secular authenticity says, be true to you. What you have in your heart, what you want, be true to that and that's all you need. 
Biblical authenticity says be true to who God is transforming you into and who God has created you to be. When we talk about stepping into biblical authenticity here, I think that totally includes, look, embracing your skills and talents and gifts, how you look, your personality, embracing all of that, being authentic and real. Not trying to fake to impress others and not trying to fake to impress God in some way. You see, dead religion is duty without transformation. It's saying, oh, well, I have to do this. I have to look at what God wants me to do just because that's what I'm supposed to do and that kind of thing. And so we're we're being pulled by this flesh, but at the same time, we're like, oh, well, I gotta do this stuff. We're compelled by duty. Well, what God is calling us into is a transformation by which our heart has changed. Obviously, it's not gonna happen right away. And of course we still sin, but now we desire to do what God wants us to do. So my encouragement to you is this, be biblically authentic. Pursue biblical authenticity not a secular authenticity where it's like be you be be yourself just whatever you want that's good when you're looking inward but look outward at who God has made you to be and who he's transforming you to be it's not about saying oh man I hate myself because I'm just bad and I'm evil and all this kind of thing no it's saying hey God thank you for saving me thank you for creating me the way you created me and now I want to be real and authentic to who you're transforming me to be and not fake to impress others or impress you but just to be real well guys thanks for watching a huge shout out to my patrons on patreon thank you so much to all my gospel partners on there your support and partnership in this ministry it means so much it's crazy <laughs> like it really is if you want to join and partner with me on patreon so i can continue to make these videos and other resources on other platforms head on over to patreon.com daily underscore disciple and you can partner with this ministry on there. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time.